Hey everybody, Floyd Simmons here for Sports on Radio. We call this Northland Basketball. It's presented by Choice Wireless. And tonight, a come from behind second half for the Blue Ridge Yellow Jackets. They force overtime and they get, after cleaning up the boards in that overtime frame, they get a 68 62 win in the 3A East over the Holbrook Roadrunners. Welcome in again. As I said, I'm Floyd Simmons, and that guy right there is the guy that led his team to victory. He is the head coach for the Blue Ridge Yellow Jackets, Scott Cat. Hey, Coach, how are you doing today? I'm doing wonderful. Thanks for being here, as always. We really appreciate everything that you do for the White Mountains and for these kids and for this community, and it's something I'm very, very grateful for, and I'll never stop expressing it. Our privilege, Coach, our privilege to be here. Thank you for, for welcoming us in and the hospitality always. here at Blue Ridge. Coach, look, uh, you've got uh, – you must have, among all the coaches I've ever seen, uh, you, you're the one of the one or two – the top guys with the positive outlook. It seems like everything you do, you coach from a positive standpoint, positive outlook. I rarely see you. I don't know if I've ever seen you really get on a guy. I don't know what halftime is like in the locker room. <laughs> Whatever it is, you're doing it well. You you reversed the tables tonight. Mm -hmm. Your team got the great start in the first quarter, but played kind of miserably in that second quarter and gave up a nine-point lead. But you came out and got early momentum in the second quarter. What did you tell your guys in the in the locker room? You know, I think about Benjamin Franklin, right? And I think of that quote that, you know, you either hang together or you hang separately. And when we come together as a team and we look each other in the eye and have complete confidence in each other's abilities, great things happen. And I think, and I think that's the, the story of this team. Together, they can do anything. And when you have guys like Zane Rex and you have Carson Rex who had just amazing things going on at home, you know, a PJ London, a Logan Joe, I'm the luckiest coach in the world. I have the best kids in the world. And I can go down the line with Reed Granillo and I can go down the line with Jake Esparza, Brandon Armijo. We are so blessed. We are so blessed to have great kids. And that's far more important than great basketball players. But I'll tell you what, they're wonderful basketball players and I'm privileged to coach them. Coach Cat, you mentioned Zane Rex. He was our Sports Zone Radio player of the game tonight. 22 points overall. Mm -hmm. He began the third quarter with two big three point baskets for you, scored six points in overtime to lead you there, mm -hmm. and had a number down the stretch, especially a number of key rebounds. Right. How about the night tonight that Zane turned in? Zane's an incredible human, and he's a wonderful basketball player. And we told him, you know what, Zane, if you can, if you can go ahead and shatter a backboard, that'd be really nice for us because he's <laughs> athletic enough to do it. And when he's confident and when he's going to the basket, man, I don't know if I've coached many better shooters than him. You know, he's right up there, him and PJ probably competing for that. And um, we just told him, you know, Zane, we have complete confidence in you. You don't need to look to anybody else. You don't need to look, to, just look inside your heart and uh, understand what you can do as a basketball player. He's put in the work, he's put in the time, he puts in the extra reps. He's the first one at practice. You know, he's the last one to leave. And that's, you know, you saw the evidence of all of those good things tonight. And um, I couldn't be more proud of him and I love him. And um, he's going to make some college coach somewhere very, very happy here in the near future. Hey, coach, you seem unflappable over there on the, uh, on the sidelines. I don't know. I'm not watching you every second. But were there moments uh, that you were uh, maybe a little bit more concerned than others in the second half? You, you know, one of your, your key ball handlers, Reed Granillo, young guy. Mm -hmm. he, he fouls out of the game early. You lose yeah. him down the stretch. And it yeah. seems like maybe that's going to affect some things. And yet your team rallied. Uh, what was the concern level at times out there? Oh, I, have, I have 15 great players on my roster that I trust completely. And so if Reed goes out, I know that we have people that will come in and, and play Blue Ridge basketball. And, you know, I've been around the block. I came to the White Mountains because I felt prompted that I needed to be here for a variety of reasons. You know, you get those feelings in your heart, whether it be from God or from, you know, just depending on your belief system, you know, just those feelings that you should be somewhere. And so you, you come here, I've coached in a world championship with Madut Bold. You know, I've been, in, I've been in the NBA. I've been in professional leagues all over the world. And you've seen everything. Um, but what I haven't seen very often is a team that comes together like this. And so after you've seen all that and you see a team like this that wants to play for each other, that wants to represent a school, wants to represent a community, wants to represent the White Mountains, it becomes a lot easier to kind of sit back, trust the game plan, trust your assistant coaches, and trust those kids that maybe you don't see all the time but put in the work every single day in the classroom. They put in the work in the community to be community ambassadors, and they put in the work on the court to really make themselves prepared so when their name gets called, they don't have to wonder if they're ready or not. Yeah. 